Right, welcome to Module 3. Uh, module 3 leads on from Module 1 and 2, so I assume that you've done those already. Uh, module 3, we're looking at T accounts or T account ledgers. Now, you've already sort of seen these in examples from last week. Well, this week we're going to use them a bit, and then we're going to be doing a bit of a walkthrough more later on. So, the T account is a graphical representation of just one account um, for um, a particular account. So, we've got at the very top a name of the account. So, this might be, let's, see, let's call it something useful. This is the bank account. So, this would be the T account for the bank account. Now, every account would have its own individual T account. Okay? Each individual account would have its own T account. So the bank account would ha have one, a separate one. Vehicles would have a separate one. So what sales would have one. Wages and salaries would have a separate T account. To keep track of what happens in each area. Now, when you have a T account, you've still got the debit side. Debits on the left, credits on the right. If you want to go back and listen to that uh, little video, it will get into your head. Debits on the left um, are recorded on the left hand side of the T account. Credits are on the right. Now, now we get into a bit more detail though. So, when we record transactions, we want to record the date that it happens. So, that would be the first thing that we record here. The next part is we want to record the details. What's the details of the transaction? So if we've made a sale, maybe we'd write sales, that it's money com um, coming in from sales. If we want to say that, hey, we've paid out some wages, we'd write wages. We'll come into a bit, of, a bit more of that detail later. So date, details, and finally, the amount. So those are the details that we need to record transactions. So name of account at the top, debits and credits, and then the three parts are date, the details, or particulars I've got there, and the amount. If you record those, then when you look back at the end, you can actually calculate the balance of that account, because you can look at what money's got, gone into an account, has gone out, but you can also see where the money has come in from and where the money has gone out from. So that's why we have that details field. Just like your bank statement at, um, that you have, well, same thing. We want to make sure that we record the details, where the money has come in, where the money has gone out. Okay, so a simple T account, um, and we're going to be using this in a walkthrough 